good morning it is saturday december the 8th it's warm it's in it it's in the 50s but it's windy so it's a little cooler than what the temperature says but for kentucky that's okay but we got some rain and storms coming in today so chris and i are up in attic kind of early um he has gone to get a roll of hay for the uh feeders over here there's 15 they're out of hay so we're going to feed them this morning then we got some fence to repair um because five of the mama cows out back uh found their way through to um a, a pasture it's actually not a pasture it's a hay field <laughs> over here so um the other day so they're back in but we got we got a fixed fence so we're gonna do that today and probably feed early the girls in the back because it is gonna storm and rain and and uh we're unrolling hay and we don't want it to get all all wet so we'll get that done but who knows what else we'll have today so uh we've kind of been uh hit and miss with the videos uh we kind of took a little reprieve i guess you might want to say over the summer and and uh fall and in the winter there's not Thank God, a whole lot going on. Uh, mostly just feeding and stuff. So, but we'll try to do better about getting um, some more videos out for all of our faithful viewers. But I think this is maybe going to be the hundred and second or hundred and third video we have on YouTube. So that's it's pretty cool for us. But um, yeah, we're, well, I'm going to get the duck pen ready today too. So uh, to winterize it and try to get them ready for for winter coming. So. Um, we're just gonna do some odds and ends in between the rain. So the the front bale on the tractor is just gonna go in a hay ring for these feeders up here. I moved the hay ring yesterday off of what they had left so they could eat that up overnight and I think they did pretty well so now they're gonna get a fresh roll they'll be very happy about that everybody has protein tubs right now except for the we got two bull the two bulls in the front lot we need to put them out a protein tub but they are getting corn every day these girls do not get corn or these feeders um, they're steers heifers and two bulls in here um, they're not getting corn, but we do need to start supplementing something for them. And then the girls in the back. And the babies in the back. <laughs> and the donkeys in the back. <laughs> they have a protein tub. babies. Come on. Always got to start off with a little duck action this morning to get your day going right. Come on in boys. Good boys. So Niles is becoming more trusting. He still hangs in the back though. So as I mentioned earlier, this is where our uh, five little escapees got, got over the fence. In their defense, it was weak. We know it. I already had one cow that she went over it twice um, and we kind of band-aided it. But the band-aid has got to go. So getting a new post and new fencing. So.
ladies for being patient good job for being patient and waiting your turn you know it's gonna get unrolled don't you that's right you know how it works around here don't you being good being patient thank you for your patience we sure do appreciate it Out of the way, girls. Coming through. <laughs> you were giving just the what for? Here it comes. See, it's all you had to do is wait. Y'all act like you don't know how this works. <laughs> Ooh, mercy. Yep, go on up to the buffet. Oh, I'm winded. Chris and I have been sick, so. Doing our chores is a little bit much here lately. But whatever. <laughs> so the hay unroller is on the back of the Zetter. But they had to have two rolls today, so. The New Holland only has the spears, so we are the unrollers today. Why is it on its side? Did we roll over somebody? There's a cow under there, it ain't alive. <laughs> Golly, what a hump. Oh my. Oh, the dust is bad. Okay. 
No, it's not backwards. It wouldn't be unrolling if it was backwards. Better get out of there. He ain't going to do but he does go there. It's just caught up in itself. Oh, that's bad. That'll help my cough, I'm sure. Oh. Tub time of the year. We saw in the last videos where we were buying them at Royal King, now they're getting put out. That's not the first one. First of many. Yep. Another $55. Laid out. You wonder why steak is so expensive. <laughs> yeah. That's well, why I'm you're not making it. The dead gum packers are the ones making it. But buy local. Yeah. So now it's time to feed these boys some corn and it's snowing. It's our first snowflakes of the year. It's snowing drive through. What you want, buddy? Want your corn? Yes, you want your corn. He is so excited. <coughs> mm. Happy Bulls. You need to drive over there and check on them? Uh, Probably. That's only about $20,000 standing there. Yeah, Better I see them all up. Hi, Midnight. We just saw it. your partner in crime. He was across the creek. You didn't want to go, did you? Across the creek? No. I don't want to go across the creek, she said. So these here are the, the uh, feeders. They're all happy. <laughs> 